I'm going to share with you three tools that I use often to debug a transaction and to also understand DeFi protocol. For this example, you'll be using this transaction, a transaction that did a swap on Uniswap B3. So I'll copy this transaction hash. And the first tool that I'll share with you guys is called eigenfi.io. I use this tool to see what smart contracts the transaction interacted with. So for example, I'm going to paste the transaction hash and then click on search and then scroll down. We can see here how the transaction interacted with different smart contracts. For this example, we can see that it called a swap router 02 and then it also called Uniswap B3 pool and then also the WEF contract. So I use this tool to see which smart contracts the transaction interacted with. And it's a useful tool to get the big picture of how DeFi protocols work. If I wanted to dig a little bit deeper into the transaction, the tool that I use is called Tenderly. I use this website to debug a transaction. For example, if I wanted to debug a transaction quickly, I can either log in or just click on explore and then paste the transaction hash over here and then click on the transaction. Once the page loads, you'll see some overview, the contracts that I interacted with, the events that it fired, the state changes that it made, and it also has a debugger. But usually when I first enter a transaction into this website, first I would go into the gas profile just to get an idea of what functions were called. So for example, I see here that it called multi-call zero, and then called multi-call, and then called exact input single, and then exact input internal. If I wanted to dig into the code, then I would click on the debugger, and then start looking at the actual code. And similar to this tool, another tool that I use is called Open Chain, called Transaction Tracer. What this tool does is give you a detail of what functions were called and what inputs were passed in. For example, I'm going to click on Transaction Tracer, and then paste the transaction hash, and then click on View. And once the results load, scrolling down, I can see here that this transaction first called Uniswap B3 Router 2, called the function multi-call. And what's nice about this is that I can see the amount of beef that was sent and the input parameters that were passed in. Furthermore, I can see all of the logs that were emitted. So for example, here I can see the log transfer was emitted. And if I wanted to see more details, I can expand the function call. For example, expanding here, I can see that it called wrapped ether deposit. And then inside here, it emitted the log deposit. So these are three tools that I use to debug a transaction and to also understand how DeFi protocols work. These tools are eigenfi.io, tenderly.io, and openchain.xyz transaction tracer.